Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for January. This is your second reading for January. I already did one and I'm going to tag it to the end. Um, but January, any time in January, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're a cusper, this is for you as well. Um, I'm going to get one of these and we're going to get one of these. This happens to be your card that just fell out. Ta-da! You are the magician. You absolutely are. You have the power. The power is in your hands this month. Whatever you see, whatever you envision, you're calling in. That's what's happening. The power is in your hands. You're manifesting something or something that you have manifested is coming. It's coming. All right? Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? I will zoom this camera in when we get done. I forgot to light my candles. I gotta light my candles. I'm gonna find my lighter. It's just not right. Gotta have the candles lit, right? There we go. All right. Gemini. What does Gemini need to know for the month of January? Four cups. Not happy. Somebody not happy. Not happy. They got plenty. Still not happy. Somebody's not happy. Huh. Mmm. Judgment reversed. <sighs> There's something untrue. Something somebody's not aware of something, or somebody's hiding something. You could be. I mean, if some, if some of you, not everybody, some of you may be hoping for a reconciliation, and it's not happening. Just saying. Or you could be dealing with somebody who wants a reconciliation, and you're saying no, hell no. You don't trust this person so there's somebody it looks like it's a masculine to me I mean it could be anybody somebody's not happy but that they're not getting what they want interesting <laughs> there's the sword that cuts you're seeing things clearly the other person's not happy yeah you got the power Gemini, the power is in your hands and whoever you're dealing with ain't happy about it. That they've lost control. Imagine that shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, you, you're, you're like, step back. Step back from this scenario. I got the weapon now. Weapon's in my hand. You know, you're like, step back. Back, back, back. See her hand? She's like pushing back. Now this is the sword of truth. And somebody has been not telling the truth, right? But you're seeing things clearly. You're wide awake. Wide awake. Ah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with uh, somebody who is trying to offer you something. Somebody is trying to offer you something. Now this person, you know, they're they're coming with a genuine offer, something, you know, solid. They they have something solid in their hand. He could this person could be coming to you with some sort of gift. They could be trying to buy your love. Just saying. Or this could be you. This could be you if you are the Gemini male. Very stable, secure, solid, genuine, loyal. You may want to push this man away. This this man, whoever this person is, this man is very stubborn. And, you know, he...
his money is very important to him. And you may be like, hey, I'm looking for more than just financial stability. I'm looking for love. So I'm not sure. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, with the devil reversed. Yeah, you're the power shift. The, the power is absolutely in your hands. Somebody's not happy that you've broken free. You're, 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 they're not in control anymore. Whoever you're dealing with is not in control, and they don't like it. And that is the damn truth here. Now, you may have released yourself from a toxic situation. Just saying. Ooh, the lovers. The page. Somebody's jealous. Somebody's pissed off. Somebody is not happy that you have may have found somebody else. Look at that shit. And this person's coming in with an offer because you found somebody else. And you're like, back up. I'm happy. I'm happy now. I've got somebody else. I want to get back involved in this karmic bullshit with you. <laughs> oh, my God. But I think you're, it's like you're dealing with a child here. You're dealing with a, with a child who doesn't really know how to communicate. And they only communicate when they have to. So I think that you're probably like very tactfully even. You're tactfully saying, hey, hey, you better just back up before you get hurt. And this guy's like saying things he shouldn't be saying. He's going to get his ass in trouble. So anyway, it looks as though you have a choice here. You, This is a choice, a choice between two. Um, it looks to me as though this, you may have fallen in love with somebody or you have somebody that is very well suited for you that has come into your life and now this toxic person isn't happy. The pot person that, you know, sees that you are happy isn't happy that you're happy. Isn't that fucking amazing? Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they are scared that. You're letting them go. This person, whoever you're dealing with, is overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with the fact that you're no longer holding on to them. You're no longer, you don't care. You're going about your business and you don't give a shit. You don't give a shit about how they feel. It's like you're going about your business, you're doing your thing, and it's like, you go ahead and mope, you big baby. So I think that you're dealing with a big baby. You are, like a child. You're dealing with somebody who has a mentality of a child, and, you know, now they're not happy that you've got a new suitor. You've got somebody that's better suited for you, and you're happy. And they, they don't want you to release. They want, they want you to reconcile with them, and they be, they be trying to buy you, you know, trying to give you some sort of gift or whatever. I can support you better, blah, 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 blah. You know, they're running off at the gums, and when in reality they're overwhelmed, they're scared that they're losing you. They're like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I'm losing, I'm losing, I'm losing. And it's like their whole world is crashing because of it. Yeah, they don't they don't want you to let this die. It's like their world has been turned upside down since you left. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with, somebody is not happy that you have new love, Gemini. Imagine that. Holy crapola, right? They can't let it go. You have a new option here. Somebody that is much better suited for you and you're happy. It looks like you're happy. You know, if you're coupled, if you're single, be prepared. You can meet somebody unexpectedly. You can meet somebody unexpectedly and this person, this other person, this, it just, you know, they've been watching. They see that you're meeting somebody else or they see that you're out there, whatever. And they're like, hell no. Yeah, they, they don't want to complete this cycle. They don't want you to move on. <laughs> so if you are single, if you are single watching this, you got somebody that doesn't want you to be happy. They don't want you to find this new person. Um, 
they don't want this cycle to complete. So if you're if you're single, you still got and if you're coupled, you got somebody as well. You got somebody else. You got somebody else that's better suited for you. So this could go so many ways. Somebody is releasing themselves from a toxic situation, taking their power back in their hands, and they're saying no to somebody else. Say like, no, I got somebody better. I'm going after somebody better. Whatever the case is, however this resonates with you, because it could go so many different ways. I mean, I could do this reading for hours. But just these cards, it could go so many different ways. We have somebody here that is overwhelmed and burdened by the fact that you have new love. Period. Period. I mean, that's what this is. They don't want to, their, their life has been turned upside down. They're jealous. They're not happy. And it looks like you're probably going to, you're probably going to give them a peace of mind. You're probably going to say, you know what, back up before you get your ass hurt. I don't want what you're offering. I don't want it. There's no more, I don't, I don't, I'm not attracted to you anymore. There's no more attraction left here. Um, I feel like this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, just doesn't want this cycle to complete. You know, they don't, they don't. So, yeah, power is absolutely in your hands and you have manifested a new connection. You have. So if you are single, you could meet somebody unexpectedly out of the blue. This person is not your usual type and you know, you're being called to think positive, think positive. Um, this person thinks that you, whoever this new person is, they think that you are very creative. They think they see your confidence. They see your beauty. They feel very excited about having you in their life. They see that they can grow with you. Um, they are seeing you in a very positive light. And, and I think that you should see it see this as very being positive as well don't let this person this toxic person that is unhappy with your newfound confidence your new self-esteem the new you this person is not happy with the new you don't let them hold you back okay um yeah this person from the past they don't want to let you go this is this, this is truth you got somebody in your past that sees your your growth they do they see your growth they see your beauty you know and they see that you are excited about your new beginning they just see that you are no longer distracted by them you know they see that you're happy and they're not happy that you're happy okay so yeah we got we definitely have somebody from the past that is absolutely doesn't want to let you go they're clinging to you they do not want to let you go whoever this person is they don't and you have a new opportunity for love and you're damn happy about it and they're like are you kidding me you're really going to let me go? Whoever you were dealing with in the past is karma. Okay, so card of karma, this is, it was a karmic. It was a karmic soulmate. And this person was a liar. They were dishonest. Uh, they didn't have anything good to bring into your life. They lied to you all the time. And they aren't coming with any truth, put it that way. Whoever this person is that is communicating with you, they see your, your newfound the new you, you know, they see the new you, they see that you're no longer crying over them, you know, they, they just want to hold you back, they want to bring imbalance to your life, they want to, they want to, they want to mess up your good thing, you know, this person isn't coming with any true com truth, okay, they may come in and communicate to you with lies just to hold you back, just to turn your life upside down because you've turned their life upside down, so be prepared. You could be dealing with a deceptive individual who doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. They've treated you unfairly in the past and now they don't want you to be happy. And they see that you're happy. They see you found somebody else. So if you are single, if you are single, that was for couples, if you are single, you do have somebody new that is going to come into your life. But you got to be careful because you still have somebody else that is full of shit in the mix. Yeah, this is you beginning to realize or them beginning to realize that you found somebody else. You're no longer you're no longer crying over them. That's what this is. This person is real has realized that you're not even, you know, it's over. You know, they've realized that you realized 
that you're not invested in them, you know? So they're, they're like, oh, shit, she, has somebody, she or he has somebody else. And they're jealous. They've been watching, but they're jealous. <laughs> Gemini, Gemini, you are the empress. If you are the female, if you are the male, this is who you're dealing with. If you are the female, this is who you have become. You have become abundant. You have become... Your self-esteem has, has reached all-time high. You're, you know what you're worth. You are glowing. You have many admirers. And whoever this person is that you had let go of, they see that as well. They see that as well. And they see that you have options. They see that you are just the shit. And they are like... They're going to do... They could do something illegal. Anything anything to bring you down anything okay they don't care about the justice system they don't care they don't care this person from your past they're clinging and they don't want you to move on they don't want you to move on um you've dealt with the pain and you've released this pain you have and you're receiving a reward for cutting this person out of your life you are you are and I think that you have a new lover here, and this person is perfect, perfect, perfect for you. There's a lot of ease with this new person. Very, very easy. It's, this is a person that makes you feel excitement, you know, like, I can just be myself. I don't even have to hide anything. You might feel like you're floating with this person. It's like, wow. Um... It looks like you're about to leave something behind. You're about to leave some some sort of something that you tried really, really hard to work on behind. You can't pretend that it's ever going to work out anymore. You're leaving it there. You're letting it. You're going to let it go. You're Because this is going to come in and wash it away. You're letting it go. You're letting something go. You found your strength to let this go. To let somebody go that was toxic in your life. It was a karmic connection anyway. With a judgment and the justice reversed, it was bad karma. It was a karmic connection. You're letting it go. You've learned something. You've made the decision. You have made a decision to let this go. And you found your abundance. You have found your abundance. You're good. You're enjoying life. You're happy. And you got this other person that ain't happy that you're happy. It's like you have this abundance about you that is pulling somebody right into your circle. If you are single, if you're the independent woman, the time is now. Somebody sees what you have to offer. If you are the independent woman, you are going to receive some sort of new opportunity for love there's no doubt about it you absolutely are and you do have and even if you are this independent woman you also have this person from the past that sees they see your beauty they see that you're comfortable they see that you're happy they see that you're vibrant they see that you're enjoying life they see that you're abundant and they are not happy that you are all that so just beware beware um Looks like you guys are leaving something behind that you held on to. You held on to this for you, as long as you could. But there's no more. There's no more. There's no need to delay it anymore. It's like it's done. It's over. It's halted. It's stopped. I don't have any more. There's nothing solid to hang on to there. Done. No more passion left for that person. It's like you don't even have any desire. You may have been distracted by this person for too long, but this person, they didn't have anything stable to offer. They, they didn't even work. It's like they didn't work hard or they didn't share their money or they didn't share their resources or whatever the case is. This person that you were invested in in the past that doesn't want you to be happy, they, they were lazy. Lazy, lazy, lazy. They got distracted easily, you know, This could even be a child. You could be dealing with a child that got in the way of love. Just saying. Because there is some children here. 
There definitely is. So we have some, some issues with children as well. And maybe motherhood has gotten in the way of a relationship. I don't know how that resonates with you. It could have been a barrier. It could have been a barrier that that messed up love. But you do have somebody here that's a perfect match that is, is going to, you know, love you for who you are. And they're gonna they're they're not gonna let the children control the situation. I mean, the overall energy of this whole reading is this middle card, the lover's card. You have somebody here that is your perfect, perfect, perfect match that is going to love you for who you are. They're going to love all the, the goods and the bads. You know, they're not going to give up. This is a perfect match right here. But you're also dealing with somebody that is petty and childlike, whether it's a child, an actual child, or it's an old partner who is got the mentality of a child. You know, we definitely have somebody who is a big baby here and doesn't want you to be happy. You're going about your business, you're happy, and they don't they don't want you to go down this new path. You know, they're trying to hinder your they're trying to hinder your new path. You know, they're trying to stop it. They're trying to halt it. Whoever this person is from your past, they're trying to halt your growth. Put it that way. You definitely got children in the, in the mix here. There's no doubt. There's children that are affecting your romantic life in some way. Um... You may not feel like this person is going to support you emotionally because of your children. We have a feeling of emotional shutdown. You know, somebody here is shutting their 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 themselves down emotion shutting themselves down off, oh, I can't even talk, shutting themselves, or shutting somebody down, perhaps because of the children, or because of, they feel like they can't be in a relationship because of the children, or something like that, children are definitely an issue here, motherhood is an issue, you know, there's children that are causing problems in a relationship, but this person is going to stick it out. By the looks of things. Yes. This person can handle conflict. This person is ready. This person is strong. This person doesn't give up. So I really feel like you are dealing with somebody new that is willing to do whatever it takes to make something, to prove himself. You've you got a strong individual here who will deal with any kind of competition. He can. He's used to competition. So this person, whoever you're dealing with, can handle this person that is a big baby. Okay? So if you are worried and if you're shutting yourself down because you got a, you got problems with the children or problems with the ex or whatever because we got it's either children or ex because we got we got children here and then we got the ex so it could be both as well if you're thinking that this that you're not good enough or that you can't open your heart or you can't let this person in i'm here to tell you that this person is strong enough they they handle competition well they see your worth and they they're 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 going to do whatever it takes to stick it out with you okay so if you are single you do have a new person that is coming into your life it's a perfect match and they can deal they can deal with whatever this is that you're dealing with well they can they can they're gonna stick it out they're gonna stake around they're gonna put in the effort they're gonna they're 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 this is like truth or dare right they're gonna accept this they're gonna accept this dare 
there. And they're going to give it all the strength, all the fight, all the muscle. They're going to put in effort. Whoever this new person is. This person is, is, is probably dark haired. If you are the female watching this, this new person has dark hair. If you are the male watching this, this person has light colored hair. Okay. So, uh, we definitely have somebody that could be dark hair if you're the male, but I think it's, I, I'm looking at this card right here. This person, if you are the male, she has, I think it's, she has light hair. I do. I think she has light colored hair. If you are the female, it's this one. This is, this is the other person. Anyway, um, I feel like you have somebody that is really strong coming into your life. They can handle it. They can handle it. So, yeah, I feel like there is a new opportunity for love here. You probably, because this is a choice. You have to make a choice. There's consequences for your choice. Don't give up. Don't give up this connection because of somebody that is a big baby. So, yeah, Gemini, that's what I have for January. I don't feel like I need to go anymore. I feel like somebody, you know, is causing problems. And you may feel like it's going to break things up for you and this person that you are actually perfect with. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Whether it's the children or it's the ex or it's a family member or whatever, it's not going to happen. This person is too strong and experienced and everything to, to let this go. This person, this person will do anything for you. So, yeah. Don't, don't, rest assured, you're, you've got to keep her here. You've got to keep her here. The power is in your hands to push this person away. Okay, you have the power. You have manifested this perfect match. You have. This person is your mirror. This person is your mirror. This, this strong person is your mirror. You had to deal with pain to become the empress. So, yeah. I feel like you have a past karmic situation that is being dealt with here and it's going to be dealt with the right way. I think that you are still going to come out on top because the power is in your hands. That's what I see. That's what I have for January, Gemini. Good luck.